In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a leaking hummingbird feeder. They typically leak right where the cup meets this tube, and you're going to lose all your sugar water. So I'll show you the problem. If we go and take this thing apart, we have this little piece here that comes off, and then the cup that fits right onto this tube. This hole right down here becomes loose, and when that does, the water just drips right out of it. Now you could heat up something like a metal ball and go in there and press the plastic and make that hole just a little bit smaller so it'll fit. And using a method like this does work, where you press both sides with something like a metal ball and get that hole a little bit smaller. Or we could take another cup and make a cup with a smaller hole so that doesn't leak. So instead of throwing that hummingbird feeder away, you could take these cups like this, and you can go ahead and put it on, and you can see how tight that is. And when the water comes out, you can see that it'll stay in the cup, and it won't drain out because the hole is a lot tighter. Now we can go ahead and put our flower center on. I'll show you how I made this cup fit so tight. This is an applesauce container. We'll find the center of the container, and with a center punch, we'll go ahead and get that hole started. Now this center punch, I made out of a masonry nail, and I just sharpened it up so it's hardened steel, and this is a very good center punch. And with a step drill, we'll drill the hole. This diameter will take us to the third section here. Each time you go through a step, you want to turn this thing around and go in the other way that'll deburr it. You can see by deburring it how clean that hole is. So we have the one more step to go. Now if the hole did need to be a little bit bigger, you could take a ream and just very lightly cut the plastic. But this hole is the perfect size for our fit. When we put this on, you can see it is tight. And now we have a hummingbird feeder that doesn't leak. Now there's always more than one way to fix something. If you wanted to, you could take this, put it on, and just take a soldering iron and just kind of weld this together so it doesn't drip. And you may be wondering, why is it such a big deal if it drips? Well, if it drips, it goes right down to the ground the ants start going nuts, and then they'll climb up and they'll get the rest of the sugar water. So this dripping is a problem, and that's why we've had a problem with the dripping sugar water. Now, if you do weld these on, you won't be able to pull them off and clean them, but you will be able to clean this part, and this is the part that gets the dirtiest because the ants come up and they just make this filthy. Now, to weld these on, you just take a soldering iron, and you start at the top, and you just start to push the plastic down into the pole and you just kind of keep working it down just like you would weld steel and that will absolutely seal it. Now you may say, well why would I want to go through all this? Why don't I just buy another one? Well, we just bought another one and the exact same thing happens. The big thing you want to do is if you can avoid taking these off Go ahead and avoid taking these off because the more times you take these on and off, the looser it's going to get and then it's going to start to drip. Then the ants come. Now you can see that this is plastic welded all the way around. So you can take that soldering iron to just kind of smooth it out. Speaking of ants, if you're wondering what this feature is here, this is designed to keep the ants away from your feeder. So if they come marching down the line and there's no water here, they'll be able to cross here and then go down here and then get right into your sugar water and they'll drain that thing. So if you keep water in here, then the ants come down the pole and they can't get past the water. They just won't cross it. That's what ants don't like to do is cross water. So that's what that's for. The problem is this does not hold very much water. It just evaporates out. So you would either have to fill this up every day, which is not very practical, 
or you know kind of extend that a little bit but that's what that feature is for now if you are going to weld these together you want to make sure that these are dry because if there's any water at all it's going to pop and spew and you know there may be a hole so you want to make sure that everything's dry and just take your time and make sure everything's sealed up now that we've got everything all welded up we can fill it up with water verify that there's no leaks because we don't want to lose any of the sugar water and we don't want that ant problem so this has been sitting here for a while with the water in it and no leaks now if you've had this problem and you have found another solution to fix this please leave the comments down below thanks for watching